Candace Owens book. Who that? There is nobody. It's crazy. All right. We have a white woman on the live. Uh, may I help you, young lady? Hello. How are you? I'm very well. And you're joining from where? Um, Australia. Australia. I've never been to Australia. I'm waiting for my African family to invite no me to Australia. May I, I ask you, you I may I ask you, may I ask you what brought you to Dr. Umar's live stream? What brought me to your live stream? Yes, ma'am. Um, because my live stream is usually only for African people, and <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie, my son, Dr. Umar, keep the same energy, son. He don't give a fuck. <laughs> he don't give a fuck. You're oh. not an African, so I was well, wondering what brought. Well, you to I'm the live trying stream. to be, brother. You know, like I've got, I'm doing a solarium. I'm trying to get as dark as I can, but it's just not natural. It's just not coming. You're trying to get dark. May I ask yeah. you a question? Yeah. Because although a lot of white women get suntan, they never want to be mistaken for a black woman. So can you help me understand that contradiction mm. between wanting the suntan yeah, but never wanting yeah. to be mistaken for an African sister? Well, it's really interesting because they say don't go too black because you look dirty. Because we can't get the color that you get. Our pigment like our pigmentation will never get to yours to be the same as yours. Does that make right. sense? Right. You said they said if you go too dark, you might get dirty. But are you? Is this her regular hair? Or is it white like this? Was it like is she dyed? Is that blonde? I don't know. You aware that the original man and woman of this planet were <laughs> blue black? They were as black as midnight. That is the original natural color of humanity. Are you Christian? Uh, I'm African. <laughs> oh, what's your what's your um, religious belief? My religion is revolutionary Pan Africanism. Oh, cool. How do we do that? How how do how I do get well, on board You that? can't do that because you have to be an African to. <laughs> I'm not. I'm laughing because this man be so serious. Like he don't be fucking around. Like he is for the people type shit. Be a revolutionary yeah. Pan African. In just 36 weeks, Universal Technical Institute can train you for a career in welding. Oh, wow. So that's why everyone's like, wow, why is there a white chick doing this? I think you're cool as man. But, 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 but going, well, let, let me ask you this. In Australia, I read that there's a lot of oppression against the aboriginal Africans yeah, of Australia. Go fuck. Why would you talk like that? Yo, she's stay. We stay focused. Stay focused. We, he was by. He was talking. He was spitting some shit. Hold on. Are you listening to my question? Sorry. Yeah. Okay. The Aboriginals of Australia, the original African people of Australia, I understand they suffer a lot of racism in Australia. Would you agree? Yeah. Oh really? Okay. Have you this is fucking interesting, bro. I be seeing people on the internet saying racism only exists in America. What, man? Not going to lie to you. When I went to Canada for the first time, I experienced that shit. It's a bunch of, uh, I'm gonna give a, I might give a story time one day. Or I might, I might go live on Twitch about this shit and just do real, like, talks. But, fucking, it was outside, like, of a club or, like, a, 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 a spot. You know what I'm saying? When I had visited Canada, and it was these Indian dudes. I know they was Indian. I'm not guessing, like. He was hanging out the window saying, nigga, nigger. Like, oh, I can't say that. The N-word with the hard ER. <laughs> but you feel me? And then they like left and came back, did it again. Left, came back, did it again until they finally left. They was drunk as shit. Not that that's an excuse, but they was sick. But again, I'm like, yo, this is my first time experiencing Canada. And this is how, this is how they move out here, bro. This is crazy. You feel me? And again, I'm an advocate of speaking on certain shit, like, or like just remove myself, but I'm in Canada, bro. I can't just go, like, you can't go, you know what I'm saying? I'm from America. I go to Canada and do some crazy shit. I'm in their jail for, for some shit that somebody said. They ain't say it directly. Like, we, it was a whole bunch of people outside, and he just was, like, screaming it, but he was, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody was paying him no mind, but it's like, damn, son. Shit is crazy out here. You done anything to try to address the racism against my people? In Australia. Mm. 
Um, yeah, well, my whole street is pretty much full of, um, well, how do I say it? Well, they're not, they're not all African. Well, if they look like me, they're African. Well, there is some of them in my street. Okay. So, so you live, you live in a black neighborhood? Yeah, I do. Okay. What brought you to that black neighborhood? Um, I just went there and there was a mosque. Um, there, so... You said it's a ma. You're Muslim? Yeah, I am, yeah. Okay, Sunni or Shia? Sunni. Sunni. I was raised Muslim. Okay. Oh, yeah. So you have a black boyfriend, I take it? No, I don't, no. Okay, good, good. We don't want you... <laughs> this nigga said... Excuse me, I can't... That, that son said, good, good, good. <laughs> nah, we got to go back. Sunni, I was raised Muslim. Okay. Oh, yeah. So you have a black boyfriend, I take it. No, I don't, no. Okay, good, good. We don't want you to have a black boyfriend. Because oh, then, Because you are taking <laughs> an eligible black man away from oh. a black woman who needs oh, to build a, yeah, a strong black there. family. Hi. Hello, how are you there? That yo, son don't be cracking no smile, no nothing, not even the for the white youth, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know, like this is a grown white woman. <laughs> no. Yo. But that's not that's not fair to say that. No, it's not because no, it's not. <laughs> African people suffer the most in the world, and in order for us to repair ourselves. We have to build our family. We have to reconstruct the black family. And we can only do that with a black man, a woman, and child. So, but why? That's, that's not correct. I could, whatever, whatever cultural um, things that you follow as an African, white, I, I'm sure a white woman could follow them as well. Like, here's the I, problem. I, the, yeah. She actually, she couldn't because the white woman benefits from a white privilege that she would never relinquish in order to support the black struggle. They have Damn. This man spitting. <laughs> this man spitting. Hold on. Why are you cutting her ass like this on live, son? Baby done came in, son did the... Mm -hmm. Like he did. He's violating on live and she's mad. She's like white woman confused. She doesn't know what the fuck is going on, son. There has, okay. never, been a, there has never been a white person ever who has given up white privilege That's a fact. to struggle with black people. That's a fact. They made... yo, he did it, yo. He was on Breakfast Club and he did it. He did an interview with Envy, DJ Envy. Uh, and he asked him, he's like, Envy, because I guess Envy son was dating like a white woman or some shit like this. Y'all can go find the clip. It's, it's not it's probably better if y'all watch it than I explain it, but I'm explaining it anyway. Did an interview and he was like he's like, Yeah, like my son, my uh, envy was like, Yeah, my son dating this white girl. Uh, uh. he was like, Yeah, but like I, I don't have a prejudice on like who he loves. Like who, I feel like love is blind, like you love who you love. And and and, and Dr. Umar was like, Listen, envy, like can can you can you think that white woman can feel like what it's like to be pulled over by a cop or you know what I'm saying? Shit that uh, African American would have to deal with in America, and we said fuck no. He said exactly. So why the fuck would you want him to, to you know what I'm saying, delegate with a woman who won't even understand his struggle? And then, like he started cutting his ass. I'm like, yo, uh, that makes sense, bro. Like it's it's it seems in in it seems crazy when you like you try to like keep it just within house, but like every every other race. Like literally teaches the kids to do exactly that. It's like we are we the only. He was like we're the only people. African Americans are the only people who feel ambiguous to tell their kids to love, to 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 love a black woman or just to love in the race. And it's crazy because it's it's true, bro. It's, I'm not even gonna lie. It's type true, bro. Like you feel they me? have struggled with black people, but they never relinquished their privilege, which would make them a revolutionary hypocrite. Do you and understand? And what what is a what is that? What are they giving up? What is that? What is it they're not giving up? The privilege. So, for example, All? with privilege yourself, you have the privilege of not being racially profiled by the police. 
you have the privilege of not that's being not, denied that's not opportunity. At all. Say again. Uh, she's not. Why? Why are people so mean? Why is everyone no, being okay, so? You're not paying attention. That umakaha ass. I mean. Don't worry about the comments. Don't worry about the They're comments. They're so rude. People are just so rude and judgmental. Why don't well, they? But you have to you have to put the judgmentalism in context. We have over a thousand years of direct contact with white people. And in that thousand years or more of direct contact with white people, African people have not been treated fairly. Would you agree with that? I'm I'm not aware of the statistics. <laughs> Fuck out of here. But okay. if that, but, you, but but I could say that potentially yes. I could I could imagine okay. that. Okay. Yeah. So you are aware of the racism against the Aboriginals in Australia, correct? Yes, but it is getting much better. My neighbor is Aboriginal okay. and I love her. Okay. So when you say the racism is getting better, can you give me two examples that will help me understand why you feel it's getting better? What has changed for the mm. Aboriginals in Australia, my African brothers and sisters? Well, for your African or for the Aboriginals? It's the same thing. The Aboriginals oh, are an African people. Oh, okay. Well, um, pretty much like the childcare family daycare centers. So we have like a, a family daycare center and we've put, um, or we had someone come and do all Aboriginal, um, like chalking at the front of okay. the house. Okay. Um, put just putting all Aboriginal things inside the actual child care centre. Like okay. um there's also a lady who comes to your house and she teaches the children um how to play like the didgeridoo, um, you know, uh no sorts of things, read some books. Um so okay. yeah, like now, they implement now. that a lot and I love that. I don't and, even know what the fuck you're talking about. I had to look somebody shit up. Thanks, but Let even me... where my daughter goes, my daughter goes to a, um, oh my God, I cannot handle these comments. People are so rude. So let me push back a little bit. So let fucking back. rude. Let me push back. The things you mentioned, the daycare, learning how to play the games, those things do not change status or the access to opportunity of Currently, but you were actually just racist because you turned around and said that a white woman would not be able to um, marry you know. a black man. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. This shit is interesting, kind of. I should have started watching the doctor. I'm going to stop it right here. I'm going I'm, I'm to listen to what she say after this, but I think, I think I'm going to uh, watch this Breakfast Club interview. Yeah, but why? Yeah, because it's not about hating you. Yeah. It's about building up ourselves. Do but you your cultural, your cultural beliefs, or your cultural needs, or whatever it is culturally you need from a white woman, why could I not give that to you? How do you know that I wouldn't give that to you? How do you because, know that? Because only the black woman, who is the oldest and most ancient of all females, can provide the oldest and most ancient of all males with the spiritual and psychological energy we need in order to reach God consciousness. Well, have you greater... tried that? Have My you mother. tried being with a white woman? Nah. Or has anyone oh, never, tried? Never, absolutely. Yeah, we're going to end it on that. She asks us some bullshit. Dr. Umar Johnson is not moving like that, son. You heard? <laughs> that's, 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 I was about to say some crazy shit. That's blasphemy. Long story short. My, my, that brother would never get caught dead. With no white woman in public. Come on now. But yeah, I'm going to end it on this. Let me know how y'all feel about this one. And how y'all feel about me doing uh his breakfast in the club clips. I think them shit should be mad funny. But I'm out of here, man.